Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So this is just a video where we just discuss concepts. That's it. So this is just a review based video that is for your revision. That's it. It's not like a complete revision, but we'll go to like a gist. Okay. So the topic which we are taking today is from general medicine that is Caesar's World Epilepsy. So let's just see what it is. Then, as you all know, seizures or epilepsy, it's like a very important topic and very common topic. So you all know, what is a seizure? So it is a period of symptoms due to abnormally excessive or synchronous neuronal activity in the brain. Abnormally excessive or synchronous neuronal activity in the brain. So the points whichever I'm telling here are uh, very important. So you can just note it down or you can just uh, uh, take a screenshot of the uh, slides, okay? So abnormally excessive or synchronous neuronal activity of the brain. So the outward effects, outward effects is the thing which we can see outward from the patient are like uh, uncontrolled shaking movements involving much of the body with loss of consciousness. So you know there are types of seizures. So uh, loss of consciousness is seen in tonic-clonic seizures and shaking movements involving only one part of the body, only part of the body with variable level of consciousness is seen in focal seizures. From focal itself, you can see. And to a subtle momentary loss of awareness, subtle momentary loss of awareness, the patient is conscious, but there is only subtle momentary loss of awareness, which is seen in absent seizures. Okay. So, uh, let's just uh, see what it is. Uh, what these uh, uh, all mean in uh, deep uh, manner. So let's just uh, proceed. So the seizures may be provoked or unprovoked. You can you know, seizures are provoked in few cases. So provoked seizures are seen when there is uh, a medical condition like low blood sugar, alcohol withdrawal, even more alcohol withdrawal, which uh, uh, sometimes leads to delirium kind of thing, right? And abusing alcohol together with prescription medication low blood sodium, fever, brain infection or concussion. An unprovoked seizure. Unprovoked seizure is the seizure which happens where there is no known or a fixable cause. There is no known or fixable cause. The ongoing, uh, the, they may be like due to exaggerated stress or sleep deprivation. So a seizure may be with known cause, that is medical cause, those are known as provoked seizures. With unprovoked, uh, 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 unprovoked are uh, those with, without any cause. Then we have to remember two terms. When do we call a seizure as a medical emergency? So a seizure that lasts for more than a brief period, it is a medical emergency. If the seizure is lasting for uh, more than a brief period, it is a medical emergency. Then when do we conclude it as a status epilepticus? The status epilepticus is when the seizure is lasting more than five minutes. Then it should be treated as a status epilepticus. So you have to remember this. Different causes in certain age groups. So, as you know, seizures occur from childhood to adulthood. Okay. But the causes for which these seizures occur differ in different age groups. So, let's just have a brief overview of what it is. So, seizures in babies. Babies also undergo seizures. Okay. They are caused by hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy. CNS infections, trauma, congenital CNS abnormalities, and due to metabolic disorders. So the most frequent cause of seizures in children is febrile seizures. So it happens in 2 to 5% of children between the ages of 6 months and 5 years. Then during childhood, well-defined epilepsy syndromes are generally seen. So then coming to adolescence and young adulthood, there are non compliance with medication regimen and sleep deprivation are potential triggers for seizures in adolescents and in young adulthood. Then, during pregnancy, labor, childbirth, postpartum, postnatal period, like after birth, 
these are very risk times where the mother is undergoes seizure so especially when there are uh, complications like preeclampsia and all okay and during adulthood so during adulthood a fully grown adult the seizures are due to alcohol related like alcohol abuse strokes brain stroke leads to seizures trauma cns infections and also brain tumors then in older older that is a geriatric the cerebrovascular disease is the common cause other causes in older group include cns tumors head trauma other degenerative diseases such as those having dementia so these are all some causes in different age groups okay then other causes so other causes like metabolic causes metabolic causes include dehydration low blood sugar low blood sodium hyperosmolar non ketotic hypoglycemia high blood sodium low blood calcium and high blood urea levels and structural causes structural causes like cause the structural malformations the structural malformations like cavernoma or cavernous malformation is a treatable medical that can cause seizures headache and brain hemorrhages you can remember this because uh, this cavernoma or cavernous malformation you can just remember the important uh, symptoms that uh, they lead to the seizures headaches and brain hemorrhages these are very important you have to remember them then arteriovenous arteriovenous malformations vavm it is also a treatable medical condition and it is presented with seizures headaches and brain hemorrhages okay the space of occupying like space of occupying lesions that such as the space of occupying lesions in brain such as abscesses and tumors so in people with uh, brain tumors the frequency of epilepsy depends on the location of tumor especially if it is at the cortical region then the occurrence of seizures is more okay then coming to medications medications so medications certain kind of medications cause seizures certain uh, kind of medications when they are withdrawn like without any uh, withdrawn immediately then there's those also cause seizures in uh, patients so drug overdoses and also uh, withdrawal so common drugs involved antidepressants antipsychotics cocaine insulin and local anesthetic lignocaine so local anesthetic lignocaine it is important for dental uh, right so uh, if the patient is not compatible with it then the patient can go into seizures it most probably it is due to the uh fear that they are having towards the dental treatment but this is also uh, this is also this can also be a cause okay so difficulty withdrawal seizures such as in prolonged alcohol or sedative use and uh, yeah daily limb problems we have discussed then coming to infections so infections such as infection with coke take form like neurocysticercosis is a cause of half of epilepsy cases in areas where it is common then parasitic infections such as cerebral malaria so in nigeria it is one of the most common causes and infections such as encephalitis and meningitis so apart from these you know the common thing is stress stress is the most common cause to cause epilepsy in the patients coming to the mechanism so how the seizures are induced so there are two types of mechanisms so high frequency bursts of action potentials or hyper synchronization of a neuronal population so on hyper synchronization is high free uh, the neuronal uh, uh, bursts get synchronized at a specific area in the brain then it produces these okay or high frequency burst of action potentials okay the synchronized burst from form from a sufficient number of neurons result in a so called spike discharge on the electron encephalogram or eeg okay then then types of seizures so as we know there are two major classes or groups of seizures one is focal onset and generalized onset so the focal onset start in one area and spread across the brain 
and they cause mild or severe symptoms depending upon the electrical discharge speed. Then generalized seizures. It can start as focal seizures, but they are present on both sides of the brain. And they can also occur as a generalized onset seizures in which seizure activity starts simultaneously in both sides of the brain. So they usually start during childhood and are similar to the thermostat structure like that. Okay. So let's just see what are the types involved in focal and general. Then focal seizures. So focal seizures, as we know, they begin at the particular focus. So certain experiences can lead to focal seizures, especially aura. Especially aura. Okay. So these may include sensory, uh, visual, auditory, any aura, cognitive, automatic, autonomic. So you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, remember it like that. In a complex partial seizure, a person may appear confused, dazed, and cannot respond to questions. Okay. So then coming to Jacksonian March. This is an important one. So, Jacksonian march is the jerking activity that may start in a specific muscle group and spread to surrounding muscle groups. So, Jacksonian march is seen in focal seizures. So, it is a specific activity or a jerking activity that starts in specific muscle group and spread to the surrounding muscle groups. So, unusual activities that are not consciously created may occur. They are known as automatisms. So, automatisms, you can uh, see this in few people. They produce jerking of uh, eyelids like this or like this. No, these are all automatisms. And uh, uh, like smacking of lips like, like this. Like, or complex activities like picking something up. So, like that. Okay. So, you can observe this in a uh, few patients having uh, neuronal deformity. Right. Then coming to the generalized seizures. So generalized seizures are like uh, these types. Tonic-clonic seizures, tonic seizures, clonic seizures, absent seizures, and atonic seizures. Tonic-clonic seizures are present with contraction of limbs followed by their extension along with arching of back for 10 to 30 seconds. So first limbs get affected, contracted. Then they are extended and the arching of back for 10 to 30 seconds. Then a cry may be heard due to contraction of chest muscles. Chest muscles contract. A cry may be heard there and the limbs begin to shake in unison. Everything shakes in unison. So after the shaking is stopped, it may take 10 to 30 minutes for the person to return to the norm. Then tonic seizures. They produce constant contractions of the muscles. The person may turn blue if breathing is impaired. Then, clonic seizures involve shaking of limbs in unison. So, the entire limbs shake in unison. Then, myoclonic seizures involve spasms of muscles in either a few areas or generalized throughout the body. Then, absence seizures. Absence seizures is very subtle. Subtle, that is where you can't observe it physically, like profound the thing. So only slight, slight turn of the head or eye blinking like this. The person often does not fall over or may return to normal after the season ends. Then though there may be a period of post ictal disoriented. The person mostly he becomes disoriented, disoriented towards external surroundings in the absence seasons. And uh, the, uh, physically you might not see much difference. So only a few differences like the jerking of eye or eye blinking or turning of head like this. So that can be seen. Okay. So atonic seizures involve loss of muscle activity for greater than one second. So the person bilaterally he doesn't show any muscle activity in atonic. They become stiff. Okay. So you can just start uh, check with that. So of all the types, tonic, clonic, clonic. Tonic seizures, these show the person uh, shaking of the contraction of muscles and shaking of limbs in unison. Okay, so these show you uh, shaking. Absence, no such signs is except for uh, some clinking. And uh, atonic, completely they don't show anything, it becomes stiff for a second. 
Okay. So this is what is generalized Caesar's. Physical examination. So the physical examination involves a bite mark on the side of the tongue. Uh, helps to confirm seizure when present, but it is not a normal sign. It can only be seen in some, some cases. So then, uh, EEG is recommended. Okay, then management. So the management is first of all, whenever the person is undergoing a seizure, you know the management. People take, you see in all films, people take a gift or iron thing or iron substance or keys and batch of keys and they keep it in a pan and ask them to hold. So that is first thing. So first of all, we have to ensure that the patient is not having any potential harmful substances around him. And you should take care of, take care of the ABC. So ABC should be taken care of. That is airway, breathing and circulation to be, to, should be care, taken care of. So airway management should include placing the person on the other side. So, uh, the side on their side, so the, the uh, position of the patient is distended. So that is a recovery position to prevent from choking. So if they are unable to breathe or something is blocking, the required treatment should be done to open the air. Then the first line of medication for an actively seizing person is benzodiazepine. So with most guidelines recommended, fluoroxetine and um, diazepam and midazolam are alternatives. They may be repeated if there is no effect for 10 minutes. Then if there is no effect of two doses of diazepam, that is benzodiazepines, if they are not affecting on it, then you can go for barbage rates or propofol. Then second line includes phenytoin or phosphenytoin and phenobarbital. Phenobarbital is for children. Okay. And third line includes phenytoin for children and phenobarbital for adults. It becomes reverse. Okay. Then valproate is the first line broad spectrum anti seizure valproate is the first line broad spectrum broad spectrum that is it can be used in any kind of seizure so it is an anti seizure okay i hope you understood what seizures are so this is just a concept revision video so you can just uh, note down the few important points here uh, we might have missed most of the points, but we can't cover everything in uh, just a uh, just video. So it's just a gist for that. So if you just like the video, you can just like our video, subscribe it, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos, and share to your friends, to your colleagues. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Dokshara, Anka Dokshara, and we can for medical content. And you can also follow us on Telegram. Thank you.